In this tutorial we'll show you how to make an in-store display using a bright sign video player and a red sense sensor that will show a different video if the user is present or not. You can use this to, in our case, show a video to demonstrate a product, in this case uh, the Airbit from MakeKit, a beautiful little drone kit. And they have a couple of videos, so this is the video that will show when a user walks past that has audio enabled. We love drones. They can have cameras. And then we have this other video that will just show a silent video while uh, we're waiting. So to get started, you want to have your video files ready and you want to put them in a project folder. So just be sure that you have them in a folder like this. And then it's time to start the Bright Author software. In this case, I'm using version 1.4. You might be using a different one. It doesn't really matter. It should still be the same. So upon startup, let me just scale this window so it fits nicely. Oops. The first thing we do is to make a new presentation. And here we'll call it make kit drone. And then we'll be sure to select the project folder. This is really important. So be sure to select the folder where you have your video files. And then you need to select your video player. In my case, I'm using the HD1023. In your case, you may need to have a look at the back of it to see which one you're using. And you want to match the output resolution to the video you're using as well. And then you can just click Start and we are ready. So initially you'll, you'll be seeing this layout or this view. The first thing we want to do is click to content and here we'll have our video files. If you don't see your video files here, click the refresh button and it'll refresh. And if it still doesn't work, you may have to use the open folder just to select it here. Still be the same, click refresh afterwards. So we don't have to do anything initially. We want the presentation to be interactive eventually, and we want it to be using the BP200A, doesn't really matter here. So now we'll click the interactive button here, and then you'll get a slightly different view. So we'll want to drag both videos onto the canvas like this. And then we'll want to just expand. It's a little narrow for this. I'll, I'll just extend it to show it. There's so many options that are not really showing. So what you want to see is GPIO zero. So when you click it, it goes light blue. And when you click once more, it turns off. So what you want to do is to click it so it's light blue. And then when you move your mouse above the name of the video file, you'll get a plus click to add it. Do the same for the other one, and that's it. So this is the video we want to play initially, and this is the start state. And then uh, when the button is pressed down, or basically somebody triggers the sensor, you want to make it move to the other video like that and you'll see it'll snap into like this. Now we'll do the same for the other one but in this case if the user moves away that means the trigger is up. You'll want to transition to the other one. Now this looks a little messy. Uh, you can't really click more than one because they're on top of each other but you can also click this tiny line here to change between them. So it's fully possible. It, it's just a little inconvenient since they're both redirecting to each other. So at this point we'll just save and then it's time to go to the publish page. So here you want to be sure that the local directory is set to be your project folder and you also want to, this to be a standalone player typically. You may have different uh, needs but in this case we'll do that and then we'll just press publish. And you'll see that the presentation has been successfully published. And if you look at the folder, you'll see there's quite a bit more files here now. So then we can click back to the presentation, click save. And it wants to save this auto schedule file. No idea why, but just put it in there. So 
now we have a full setup. I'll minimize this. And then you want to take all these files and copy them to your SD card. The SD card should be empty. And you just copy them like that. So while that copies, let's go over the connections we want to make. We have the screwdriver that came with the RadSense sensor, and we also have two wires. So what we want is to make a connection from this one to the center connector on the RadSense. So just take this wire and screw it in on the right side player. So once you've fastened the wire, give it a light tug to make sure it sits. So now the files are copied. I can just eject the SD card, eject this, and then I'll move it into the physical player. So here I just slide it in there, and then I apply power. And I'll just turn on like this, so you can see what happens on the player while we're connecting this. So the other end goes to the center connection on the first of the screw terminals. And then, and this is really important, do not use the second hole, but use the third hole on the connection. Now you'll see the bright sign player start up and I'll leave this wire here for now. Let's just have a look as it starts. So here you'll see the first video playing, but if I connect the red wire to the first terminal, like that, it'll change to the other video. So every time I touch it there, it changes the video. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. So now we're connecting this one here, and which one should you be using here of the connections? Well, it depends on what you want to achieve. So in this case, the right thing is to use the first terminal, the one that is normally open and will be closed when you move within reach. Give it a light tug, be sure they're not short, short circuiting. And then we can plug this in. And you'll see the red sense sensor lighting up. I'll change the video. And okay, now we'll move it away. And then when I move my hand above it, we love you'll drones. see it change the video. They can have camera. Move my hand away, it goes back to the other one. I move my hand in. We love drones. Changes. They can have cameras. And now it's just a matter of placing the sensor in a sensible place. Sensor. And you'll have a fully working in store display that is interactive in that drones. it communicates to your viewers.